Hey everybody, Freddy here with another video. This is the first video in a series that is going to walk you through setting up this design that you see on your screen right now. The first video is how to get the sonic wall connected to the Azure VPN gateway. The, this is the first step. In other words, we're going to connect the on-prem to Azure. Let's go ahead and get that done and then we're going to move on to the next one. I hope you enjoy the video. Please like the video and subscribe to the channel. Okay, so let's go ahead and get started from our diagram here on the right hand side. The orange is the on-prem, which is the one that contains the sonic wall. We're not going to do anything in that place yet. What we are going to do is we're going to focus on this hub VNet on Azure. And so we're going to set that up. It's going to contain two subnets. One is going to be the the 10.1.1.0 slash 24 and we're going to have a VM there which is going to be our firewall 10.1.1.4 and we're going to have a virtual gateway subnet of 10.1.0 slash 25 and that's where the virtual gateway is going to exist so let's go ahead and get that done go into the virtual networks once logged in into your Azure portal create a vnet i'm going to put it into an existing resource group i'm going to call it hub vnet and i'm going to set it up in central us ip addresses i'm going to change this to 10.1.0 slash 16. i know it's a big very big number but it's okay we we have enough so hub subnet 10.1.1.0 slash 24. Review and create. Create. Okay, done. So now we go to resource, we go to subnets, and we have one subnet, which is our hub subnet. We're gonna add a gateway subnet here. So click on gateway subnet. And we it already picks, uh, picks up the 10.1.0, which is fine. Uh, gateway subnet, and that's about it. No route table, save. So now we have our gateway subnet. So this setup is almost done. The next thing is we're gonna add a virtual machine. So we're gonna go to virtual machines, create virtual virtual machine. A resource group is gonna be the same resource group. We're gonna call it hub VM firewall. And it's going to be central US. We're not going to do any infrastructure redundancy. We're going to leave it as Ubuntu and we're going to leave it as that, a very small VM. We're going to generate a new key and we're going to call it VPN test key. Next, next is disk. We are going to use a standard SSD because this is a test. Networking. It's going to be on the hub VNet and in the hub subnet. And we are not going to do a, a public IP address. We don't need it for this specific one. And when the, the NIC, um, when the VN, VNet, or excuse me, when the VM is deleted, delete the NIC. So we're going to say yes to that. Management, no changes there. Tags and review and create. Okay. Okay, so done. Now we have our VM. It does not have a public IP address. It only has a private IP address of 10.1.1.4 which is the, because it's the first item on the, on the, on the VNet, it picked up that IP address. So that's what we have on our, on our design here. 
The next thing we're going to do is we're going to create the virtual gateway. Virtual network gateway create. I'm going to call it VPN test DW. We are going to put it on the US Central. And we're going to just do the VPN gateway one. Generation one. And hub VNet, it picks up the, the gateway subnet automatically. Uh, standard I public IP address, create a new one. We're going to call it VPN test IP GW. WIP and we're not going to enable BGP and we're not going to enable active active for this test next review and create type VPN create and this can take a while so I'm going to pause the video and I'm going to come back when it's done okay now that the setup has been completed now what we can do is it says here that our deployment has succeeded now we go to resource we're going to go into our gateway we have our subnets and we have our gateway so now what we're going to do is we're going to go into connections and we're going to click on add we're going to create a connection we're going to call it asher 2 i'm going to call it fmd which is going to be my house and it's going to be a site to site vpn connection the gateway is the VPN test and the local gateway, the local network gateway. What that is, is the IP address of the Sonic wall. So I need to find out what is this, the IP address of the Sonic wall, create new FMD Sonic wall. It's going to be an IP address and I'm going to type my IP address. And this right here is asking for the subnet, the address space of the local subnet. And in this case is 192.168.5.0 slash 24. And that is what this is going to be. This is what is going to set up the routing. So we're going to click OK. And we're going to look at it again and everything looks good. Oh, sorry. So here, what we're going to do is we're going to create a shared key. Uh, the shared key that we're going to create is we're going to call it password one, two, three, four, exclamation mark. And again, it's okay because I'm going to tear this down. So even if you see it, it doesn't really matter. And we're not going to enable BGP and it's going to be an IKE V2. -E so click OK. Now the connection is getting ready. Okay, successfully created the connection. Let's go ahead and close this, refresh. Okay, now we have an Azure to FMD. Well, I'm going to click on it. What I want to do here is I want to download this configuration file so I can get the information that I need for my Sonic wall. Uh, there is no Sonic wall. So what I can do is I can use pretty much anything. I can use an, uh, a, a, any sample. I'm going to pick the Ubiquity just, just because there's only one option. And I'm going to check the one that says VTI, not the BGP, but the VT, VTI. So I'm going to click download configuration. And now I can click open file. So now this is my, this is the file that I'm going to use to configure my sonic wall. I'm going to go into my sonic wall. I'm going to log in. I'm going to go into the VPN and I'm going to create a new, a new configuration. I'm going to click add. Okay, so it's going to be a tunnel interface 
I'm going to use IKE using pre-shared key and I'm going to call it FMD to Azure. Doesn't really matter what you what information you give it. And then the IPsec primary gateway, it is the the gateway VPN address, which in this case is this right here VN VNG gateway IP address. And it's 40 that 122 134 .108. Okay. Then the next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to use the shared secret. The shared secret is part of this configuration file. And it's, um, I know we called it password1234, but I want to show you that it is right here as well. Right here, password1234. So I'm going to use that password1234 exclamation mark. Of course, I can just copy paste if I don't feel comfortable. There you go, and you can, there you go, that's what it is. Okay, next we're gonna go into the proposals. The proposals, again, is in this configuration. Um, here you have phase one, and you have phase two. So phase one is going to be this phase one. We're gonna use IKE V2 mode. It's going to be group two. It's going to be AES 256. Right here is all this information that I'm getting. AES 256, SHA1, or SHA1, and here we can say 3600. Okay, for the phase two, I'm going to use ESP, which is here, and it's going to be uh, triple desk and SHA1 as well so for phase two and and then it's going to be 3600 as well under the advanced section I'm going to enable the keep alive so that the connection stays alive and I'm going to use interface x1 interface x1 is the one that is going to is the one that is pointing to the internet so that's the one that I'm going to use and I'm going to uh, click on do not send trigger packet during IKE SA negotiation. So I'm going to check that and then I'm going to click OK. Uh, then right here you see that the connection came up and you see this green dot here and it just means that the connection is ready. Now because the connection is ready doesn't mean that I'm able to route because I'm not able to route yet. The, I, what I, I, I still need to do one more thing. The next thing I need to do is I'm going to go into the network. I'm going to go into my address objects. Uh, and um, I guess I already have one, but I'm going to delete it so I can recreate it. Okay, here what I'm going to do is I'm going to create Azure 10.00. 10 0, 0 network. I'm going to call it like that. It's going to be uh, this zone assignment is VPN and it's going to be a network and it's 10.1.0.0 .0 .0 and the network mask is 255.255.0.0. I think I should have called this 10.1. There you go. Uh, and click add. So what this does is it creates an object here that I can use, Azure, this is what I created. It just points to the IP address of the Azure network that I have here, 10.1.000. That's what that means. Okay, now I have my address. The next thing is I'm going, I'm going to go into routing. and. I'm going to click on add source is any destination is Azure uh, 10.1.0. Network, the one that the object that I just created. Service is any the gateway, we're going to leave it at 00. zero. Interface is going to be the FMD to Azure. This is the tunnel interface that we created FMD to Azure, and that's pretty much it. 
So what I'm telling the, the sonic wall is to route that traffic across the tunnel. As soon as I do that, you can see that the ping starts to work. So all the information is going across the VPN to Azure at this point. All right, so that's the end of the video. That was pretty painless, right? It's very easy to do once you have the configuration and you have the parameters. Okay, so this is, again, this is the beginning of the series on how to do this whole architecture. So please check out the other videos in this series to, to know how to set up the entire setup where we, enter, uh, we introduce a firewall into the Azure environment and everything, some of it, some traffic goes through it and some doesn't. I hope you like this video. Please click the like video button and subscribe to the channel. And until next time, take care.